6.30 p.m. A few miles away, hotel company, including private first class Carl Beck, is also under a full-scale attack. Oh gosh, I must have fired a couple of boxes of ammunition. Trees that look like streetcars coming by, you know. You're face to face with these bastards, and they're gonna kill you. Or you're gonna kill them. Without warning, Carl is blown five feet into the air. either a grenade or that little 50 millimeter mortar they had, it was trigger fire. Pieces of shrapnel and crap get in your head, you know, and you can't see zilk, you know, and my assistant gunners there and saying, you're bleeding like a stuck hog. The explosion from a German Model 24 stick grenade can blast shrapnel over 200 yards. Many deaths are caused by the pressure sphere as it expands outward from the blast faster than the speed of sound. When this front of ultra-high pressure hits the victim, the blood vessels in their lungs burst and drown them. But as the blast expands, the power drops off rapidly. This means the blast wave is survivable for men over five feet away. Despite his injuries, there's nothing Carl can do but stay on the front line. The crowds had overrun our hospital. And there wasn't any place to go anyway. It didn't matter if my brains were coming out. You know, there's still no hospital. You go by things like the principle of, of war and so forth. That's where the principle of war that we used move out and develop the situation where your medics are and where your supply routes are and so forth, the objective and the mission and all that. You haven't got time for all that. Just move out and develop the situation. 